Let's get it, baby. That's the 12th win of the season for Arizona State. Welcome into the PHNX Sun Devil Show, brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook app, America's top-rated sportsbook app. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, even leave a five-star review wherever you get your podcast. I'm Anthony Totri, joined, as yeah, always, by Sean DePaz. Yeah, Shane Diefenbach is going to be joining yeah, us is. a little bit later. He's at DFA here, and what Bobby Hurley and company have to say after the Sun Devils win tonight. And without further ado, it's officially time to meet us on Mill because Arizona State did the thing for the 12th time this season, got the dub at DFA, final score 77-71 to 71 over the Washington State Cougs. we got a lot to get into, mm. into tonight. Obviously, Warren Washington had himself a monster game. Uh, big old game. All I'm going to say is Dunn had been saying. Dunn had been uh, saying. Dez had himself an evening as well. we got more Duke Brennan minutes. Um, so we've got bottle service, aftertaste, everything in between. Uh, but, Sean, just it's been a minute since we've gotten a win. Yeah. What's that feel like, bro? I mean, well, first off, what happened the last time Washington State played at DFA? 29 points. And we scored a little more than that today. Um, listen, I don't, it wasn't a pretty win. They're going to learn today. They're going to learn today that we can score more than 29 points. Um, wasn't a pretty win. Um, no. But a win is a win, yes, especially sir. coming off of two Losses, not just two losses, but the two losses that they came off of. An embarrassing loss to San Francisco and a loss to your biggest rival. Um, This was uh, big. Just get back on track. Like I said, a win's a win. It didn't really matter how it happened in this situation. Um, Especially, like I said, considering the the, how this game went last year. Um, So it's hard not to be happy, Um, especially because it was the offense that got it done this time. And that is always the big question. Um, So it's it's, uh, I'm pleased. Yeah, I'm pleased. A, A win's a win. Right, ASU and JJ put in the chat first three and one Pac-12 start since the 2012-2013 season for the Sun Devils. That is incredible. Now look, JJ, I believe you. I'm not going to say this with 100 percent certain certainty since I haven't fact checked it. But if that if that is true, that is absolutely incredible. This would yeah. be the best start to the Pac-12 season uh, for Bobby Hurley and company. And to to your point, right? Like they were supposed to beat Washington State tonight. Yeah. But coming off the heels of a tough loss to U of A and then the embarrassing loss to USF, um, th- what, 14 days it feels like in between games? Mm-hmm. So it's been two weeks since this team has gotten a dub. Yeah. Since they've had that feeling again um, of just being the best team on the court. And tonight, there, there were moments where they didn't look like the best team on the court. Yeah. But on the flip side of that coin, there was a bunch of players tonight who – dominated yeah. right we're going to get to bottle service and we already know who the bottle service is going to be when we get there um but there were a couple guys tonight that i think needed to have big games right desmond cambridge who kind of went missing against u of a yeah he started off really hot got asu exactly what they needed mm-hmm. we've been talking about warren washington and how we feel like he could be utilized more and from start from start to finish tonight he was the best guy on the court frankie collins another Another night where it felt like he stuffed the stat sheet. Again, yep. didn't jump away with 20 points, 10 rebounds. But Seven he boards. had himself a night. Yeah. DJ, he found some rhythm. Like, it was a great night shooting. Yeah. For this uh, not from behind the arc. No. Um, but it doesn't ultimately matter when you shoot over 50% from the field. You're, you're going to win. Yeah. I mean, with the exception of DJ, really, it was the efficiency that kind of blew me away. Warren, 9 for 10. Dez, 4 for 6. Yeah. Luther, with a quiet 9 points off the bench. He went 3 for 4, including... One for one from three. Even Gaffney went two for four. Like it, it was Austin made the only shot he took, which is a problem in its own. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, yeah, no, 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 it was it was that was a big thing for me it is sometimes the offense, you get really good defense and the offense could do kind of just enough to, to get the win here. The offense was like was pretty was good. It was efficient, um, even though the defense was not, I would say, as exceptional as it's been at for a lot of this yeah. year for ASU, um, the offense showed up, which is a very encouraging sign if you're a Sun Devil fan, I think, um, because I think that's always that's kind of been the question. If the defense appears, is the offense going to be there? And a mm-hmm. lot of times it's not. Um, this time it is. Um, so, yeah, it, it's hard not to be pleased with the offensive performance. Everyone kind of contributed in their own way. Every single person who touched the court had points. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's what you want to see, right? Now, there, there were parts of this game 
where we would talk about it, right? Where Jemiah Neal looked like he was in a funk yeah. for a little bit. I don't know how much of what you guys saw preseason as to his shooting capability or just him developing as a guard. I I feel like we've yet to see, see yeah. yeah what he's fully capable of yeah. at DFA. So I'd, I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more from him. But for when sure. you get an efficient night like tonight, right? Like you mentioned, guys that hit the floor did something with their minutes. It was all valuable. And I think a person that night after night we kind of get lost talking about just because there are usually stars, right? Like tonight is going to be all about Warren and Dez. Yeah. But Luther. Luther, yeah. Luther's another guy that puts in quality minutes like every single night. And at this point, I can feel like I can say with confidence that he's one of the most consistent players Yes. For Arizona State. Yeah, no, I think he's the only one that when he shoots the ball, I'm like, oh, that's going in. Yeah. Like, uh, like especially if it's at, you know, mid-range loop like we talk like to talk about. Um, yeah, and I think that's invaluable. I think he is definitely, I would say, the most, with, I, with the exception of Duke, I would say, the most trustworthy person, most trustworthy bench player that this team has. I think you come, he comes in and you know what you're going to get from him. He's not going to make mistakes. Um, I think that's a big, a big part about Luther's game that doesn't get talked about enough is I feel like you never notice him making bad plays. Mm -hmm. um, even if he's not making like a super big contribution, he's not hurting the team. Um, so, yeah, I, I think having a piece like that come off the bench is, is super valuable. And not to mention kind of the the energy and the leadership he can bring um, that we've heard different guys on this team talk about. But to have him be able to come off the bench, hit his only three pointer, go three for four from the field mm -hmm. uh, is a very nice thing to have. They're just consistent buckets yeah. when guys aren't necessarily making shots um, everywhere else around the court. I do want to get to the numbers of tonight's game. Obviously, we talk about it. The only one that matters is that final score, 77-71 to 71 in favor of Arizona State. But my God, you look at the way this team shot from the field tonight. I don't even think they shot this well against Michigan, but no. they shot 55% yeah. from the field. 42.9% for the Cougars. In terms of behind the arc, the Cougs outshot the Sun Devils 34% to 29%. Free throw numbers feels like it was a little bit less than what we've seen over the course of the last few games. Yeah. Um, Washington State made 6 of 9. Arizona State 10 of 15. Then you look at the steals. Arizona State, it wasn't the best defensive night we've seen from them, but 8 steals to Washington State's 5. Sean, I feel like there's an easy answer here for the number that sticks out. Well, I yes, but honestly, what sticks out to me the most is the three-point percentage, that it was that bad, mm -hmm. and they still shot that well. I feel like a lot of times, I mean, obviously, the, the three-point percentage and the field goal percentage are connected, but I feel like for this team specifically, a lot of times, if they're not shooting well from three, they're not shooting well at all. Yeah. Um, and tonight, you actually saw them kind of realize that they weren't shooting good from three and feeding the ball to the big man near the basket. Um, and so their field goal percentage was quite high, despite them not being super successful from three. Um, and that is a super encouraging sign to me. The fact that they shot that well, I'm pretty confident that's their highest shooting percentage of the, of the year so far. Um, yeah, it, it's it's hard not to be happy about that, especially off of the USF game where they did not shoot well at all. Um, and, and the U of A game. Yeah. The yeah, U of A first, game in the first, the first half, half yeah. right? Like this is, we've talked about the struggles for this team, how it, it's come in the first half. Every single game, it feels like, where they have to battle back in the second half. They didn't have to do that tonight. They, they were able to play with the lead for the entire game. And it's nice, A, to have a lead and not have to worry about, okay, can, can we just go back and forth? Or do we have to create all of these transition opportunities so that we can get some dunks, get some big plays, and get the energy going? Like, tonight, all you had to do was feed Warren early. Dez helped out. And then, like JJ said in the chat, you get some big... Minutes and big shots from Lou, mm -hmm. and you're just playing with the lead. Like I know they only yeah. won by six, but like, let's be real. There was this game wasn't ever really in question until no. maybe like the last few minutes, and even then, they just hit a few clutch buckets, and that was it. Yeah, that, 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 I mean, you kind of hit at something that I think was big for me was the 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 fast start. Um, I mean, we had talked about it in full transparency on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. I had taken uh, Warren, or excuse me, ASU to or Washington State to win the first half, and ASU to win the second half, mm -hmm. just because. I mean, that's kind of been this team's MO, slower starts, and they kind of have to fight back in the second half. That wasn't the case here. They they started with the lead, and they held on to it basically the entire game. Um, and so that was really encouraging, not just to see them win a game, but for them to put yeah. together what was more or less a complete game um, is a another really encouraging sign for ASU. I mean, while you bring up the DraftKings Sportsbook app, let's just tell people about the great deal mm. that they got going on at the Why DraftKings not? Sportsbook app. Guys, download that app now and sign up with code PHNX. Place a 5 Dollar pregame money line bet on any NBA team to win their game, and you guys are going to get 
150 bones in free bets if you oh. do. That's code PHNX only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for more details. Sean, I'm going to ask you a question I already know the answer you to, but what is answer. your DraftKings Sportsbook pick of the week? Listen, if you've ever listened to me once, <sighs> gotta it's going to be do it right now. My DraftKings Sportsbook pick of the week is your Buffalo Bills minus seven. Obviously, you all know about what's been going on in the NFL, but specifically with the, the Bills franchise. I have to imagine that they're going to... And they, they said that they want to play this game. They want to play it for DeMar because that's what he would want them to do, which if you are a Patriots fan, should terrify you. Yeah, um, especially when your playoff hopes are like the writing on this game. Yes, yes. So uh, hammer the Bills uh, minus seven. Yep. You could tease that up to minus 14 probably. I think that they win this game by... A lot. 17 points at least. I think they dominate the Patriots. Um I think the gate score is going to be 33 to 3. Shout out to Threes Mark across the board. Threes across the board. 33 to 3. Uh, so my draft and sports pick of the week is Buffalo Bills. Okay. Minus 7. Um, I'm going to take it in a different direction. My team, as we know, is the Chargers. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say the Denver Broncos money line is my oh, DraftKings sportsbook pick of the week. And the reason I say this is because the Bengals and the Ravens play at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Mm, so when the saying. Bengals kick the shit out of the Ravens, and the Chargers lock up the five without even having to play. We'll Brandon starters. Staley gets to make the call to go sit his starters. And right now you can get Denver at plus money. You're not going to be able to get the Broncos at plus money after the Bengals beat the Ravens and the Chargers sit No, their Broncos are minus money right now. They're minus, minus money 145 because I think the draft oh. teams might be. But I, that is also not knowing what's going to happen. So if what how you said happens and the Bengals win or the the Bengals, yeah, the Bengals win. win. If the Bengals win, those odds are going to drop a lot. Yeah, 100%. Because then I think the Broncos played the Chargers tough. They went to overtime the first time they played. Yeah, so there's so. definitely still value there on the Broncos. So yeah. I, uh, if, you, if you agree with Totri, get on it while you can. Guys, those are our DraftKings Sportsbook picks of the week. Again, minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for more details. So when the Bills win this weekend, um, are you celebrating? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take those winnings mm. and I'm going to invest in some OGs. And not just any OGs. But their new CBD THC Ooh. Happy Balance Ratio flavor, which is flavored strawberries and cream. It's like the Cambridge Brothers, a match made in heaven. <laughs> okay. um, it's flawless. Uh, so the new strawberries and cream flavor, I cannot wait to try it. Um, as always, you can find them at your local dispensary, but you must be 21 plus to enjoy. Um, maybe the Washington State fans would could use some OGs to mm. you know, kind That's of call. calm them down after a heartbreaking loss is, to the Sun Devils. Is we recreationally legal in washington i feel, I feel like, like it's, it's gotta, gotta be, be right yeah. yeah yeah no that was like they're like the ogs it was like the ogs Devin, 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 colorado, colorado, yeah. colorado were kind of the three yeah okay yeah that makes sense there's not anything else to do so you gotta i mean you gotta come down here and get them though bro they have some of the best outdoors life that you could possibly have. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm personally and i don't want to get into this i'm not a big outdoors guy like uh, <laughs> <come on. laughs> like i can appreciate good nature but like that's not going to be why i move no. somewhere and i'm not first off if you think I am taking OGs in the woods, you got another <laughs> Especially thing Especially the foggy woods of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> oh no. That's got horror movie that written all over it. Happening. You're going to go put a half black guy and a Middle Eastern guy in the woods <laughs> on drugs and see what happens. That's a, good. That's a horror movie Nothing where good. both the characters die. Oh my God. The movie's like 10 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, they they walk in the so woods, bad. they get high, and now they're dead. <laughs> So and it's just a, a skit. And then uh, like a, a blonde girl appears out of nowhere and then she dies. Mm. And then there's just some. But that's not to like the very end. No. Yeah. Yeah. She's. Yeah. Of course. It's a horror <laughs> movie. That's how it works. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's get into bottle service. I wonder who's getting We've it. We've teased it. But my God, it's the man that can reach anything off the top shelf. It's Warren <laughs> Washington himself. Duh. 18 points, 9 of 10 from the field. Talk about efficient. And he led the team in assists tonight. That's crazy. That, but I mean, he proved what both of us have been saying. Yeah. You about him getting, get, just getting him the goddamn basketball, and me about how like effective of a passer he is as yeah. a big man. And, and four is not like a a blow, like it's not a number that's going to blow you away. No, but, but for a center but not named Nikola Jokic, yeah, like that's that's impressive, especially the center who also led your team in scoring. Yeah. Um, it, he was. Yeah, it's not even a question. He was the best player on the court tonight on either side of the basketball. Um, and it was again. The efficiency is what blew me away. Um, I think this was kind of his he coming out game. He started eight of eight. Yeah, yeah. And this is coming out game to me. I feel like we already knew what he was capable of, but I think this, if you're Bobby, this has to show you, hey, uh, we can win if we get him the basketball because yeah. he's the best player on the court. And I, I think I think he is the best player on the uh, Sunday. I know we were talking about how he's probably second best behind Dez, but I, 
I don't. I think that's just because we haven't seen him get that opportunity yet. I think you give him the opportunity. He's the best player on this team. 100%. I do want to get to what Bobby Hurley had to say in his opening statement tonight about the Sun Devils. We've already talked about it, how it was big for this team to get back on track. Bobby Hurley saying a lot of the same um, after tonight's win. On track with a win, and uh, it's probably as, as good as we played you know, offensively, and, and I think it could have been a, a little better. You know, We had really good looks um, throughout the course of the game. Thought we moved the ball well. Uh, Liked our assist total, you know, 18 assists, 31 made field goals, and uh, you know, our, 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 you know, got some good work done in the paint again, and uh, so a lot of good stuff on the offensive end, and um, it's good just to again get back to the feeling of, of winning a basketball game after you know having you know two tough losses, and uh, so hopefully we'll you know continue to gain confidence. So, and I think it's a quality win. I mean, I don't really look at their record because. Uh, you know they're not the same team they were early in the year when they were you know had injuries and, and uh, you know a variety of things they had to go through and they're they're a good basketball team and Kyle does a really good job and they uh, you know they run good offense and they can really shoot and they have a good inside player so um, and they played really good competition very well you know the last couple of weeks so uh, you know I feel good about the win and uh, we'll just move on from here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's kind of repeating what we said. Like, it wasn't a, a pretty win. It could have been better, but a win's a win. You yeah. got back in kind of your winning ways, and now you just have to move on from it and, and build off of it. I think I'm honestly almost happy it wasn't like a blowout win because I don't think you can, if you're the Sun Devils, you can really rest on this. Like, you know that this could have been a better performance, mm -hmm. even though you got the win. Because um, if they had blown this team out, I maybe they'd get too high again. Who knows? Um but yeah, it, it, I, that's kind of the mentality I think is the right mentality. It was a win. Could have been better. Bill might have move on. Yeah. You get back on track. I think that's a big thing, right? We've already kind of harped on it. It's been, you know, 10 plus days and change since this team had gone with a win. Like literally, and I don't want to be, you know, like Max, but they haven't won a game since the last year. Um, like, it's just nice to get that feeling again, right? As a collegiate athlete, as a collegiate coach for Bobby too, right? Because he's heard. Mm -hmm. how he can't beat the Wildcats. Mm -hmm. He's heard how the whole scheduling issue with USF got them down in the dumps, and then you got 10 days before your rival game. So it's nice to start Pac-12 play um, with that third win, right? And I say start Pac-12 play. They obviously played oh, yeah. Colorado and Stanford, but like that, this, it, it, it's so big to start conference play, specifically in this conference, this hot, right? Because you've got teams like Utah, that nobody thought they were going to be mm -hmm. looking at right now, but they're number two in the conference. You've got UCLA that's on a 10-11 game win streak. They're kicking the shit out of USC as we're on the show live right now. And U of A tips off here in about 30 minutes. I don't know who they play, but I can guarantee you they probably win unless <laughs> I bet on them. So, like, it's... U of A plays Washington like, in Tucson. Um, I think U of A is going to win that it's gonna game. Be a dub. <laughs> it's going to be a dub, right? So, you got to keep pace. With these teams, especially because we know the stretch that ASU has mm -hmm. toward the end of the season where it's USC, UCLA, yeah. Utah, U of A. Like, you've got a tough, tough stretch. So you just got to, like, keep pace with these teams yeah. until you get to that point. Yeah, I mean, the goal is a top four seed, right? You want that first round by in the Pac-12 tournament. So I feel like that has to be the bar and anything less is... Uh, I mean, a disappointment in my mind, because that's what we, I think, at least, I mean, I set that bar last March as soon as they got eliminated that next year, was that this year was the first round by. And I think this team has now proven that that, that uh, confidence in them was warranted yeah. and that that should uh, be the expectation. Was warranted. Yeah. Should, um, should be expected. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you just keep pace. Uh, but I feel like they're in a good spot right now. Yeah, we've talked a lot about Warren Washington already in the night he had. Um, but we, we do have some sound from Warren just talking about the confidence um, that he had tonight, especially with his back to the basket. Uh, so let's see what he had to say tonight. I'm honestly like probably the most confident person when I'm in, like, when it comes to just being in the post area, I feel like I'm the most confident and I, uh, they got to pick a poison really. They either got to double me or, or it's going to be an ISO and that's an easy bucket for me. So it's really uh, up to the other team to pick a poison. I mean, it seemed like he was just waiting for an opportunity. Like he, he I think he clearly, clearly is confident around the basket. He showed yeah. that today. Um, I, it, it's just, it's just good to hear that from him. That he, he knows what he's capable of. He's just waiting for the opportunity. And I think that what's what sticks out to me from what he had to say, right, is the the picking. He, you force Washington State and you force other teams to take a weapon away, yeah. right? Which is what. 
we talked about against U of A, right? How do you beat a great team? You take yeah. away a strong weapon. ASU, over the last handful of years, you could argue, hasn't had the guy or the number of star players where you have to be like, oh, well, I got to take away him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you just don't have to rely on it. This team, when you get shooting from the guys consistently, right? When you get Dez who can score, when you get DJ going consistently, when you get guys like Luther even being able to put the mm-hmm. ball in the basket, and then you add Warren Washington in the mix, who ASU, now I believe 5-1 and one when he's in double figures, like... You got to pick your poison. Yeah, yeah. No, I, that that's the big thing for me, right? Is I feel like there's obviously talent on this team. You like DJ is capable of putting up 20 points. Dez is capable of putting up 20 points. But the problem is that those two, especially DJ, have been so inconsistent that you have not been in a lot of situations where you're forcing. And, and obviously, Warren hasn't been as big of a point, part of the offense as he was today. Yeah. You haven't been in positions where you're. They're, you're forcing someone to pick their poison. You're forcing mm-hmm. the other team to take away one and have to live with the other beat you because a, a lot of times it's just been one it's just been des or it's just been dj and that's it if you get if you're if warren can produce like this consistently you are forcing teams to key in on him and allow des and dj to get better shots which knowing dj he's still, still probably going to figure out a way to take a bad shot anyways but <laughs> it, it, it's a good position to be in um so so yeah i, I don't think I, like i said i think warren is the best player on this team and i i think he what he can provide is also the most valuable just based on what the rest of this team looks like. Yeah, Sean, we've been talking about the game, obviously, as two people who watched it yep. from the office. We're going to get Shane in here because I'm curious to see his thoughts and hear his thoughts on somebody who was able to watch it in person. Obviously, he was there watching Warren Washington dominate the way that us and the rest of ASU media thought he could. Uh, so let's bring Shane in. And Shane, just what was tonight like? And specifically, what did you see from Warren? I'm having trouble hearing you. Hold on. Unlucky. Do it again. Unlucky. There can we you go. Hear me now? Wait, I can hear you now. Yep, okay. I can hear you now. What did you What did you see tonight that stuck out to you? Uh, I mean, <laughs> man started off eight for eight. Warren Washington was dominating, <laughs> facilitating. We we were talking to him just now, and he's uh, one of the one of the members of the media brought up a really good point. It, this is probably the first time in his career where he's had more assists than he's had rebounds. <laughs> Uh, and it, yeah, it just shows how much of a focal point it was in the offense in the first half. And we'll talk about the second half later, but yeah, the first half just set the tone. I mean, they got in kind of, they got into kind of a shootout in that game and it got a little weird, especially near the end of the game. But you know, this, this is a quality win. And if you're wondering if you can hear the music behind me, it's because Luther Muhammad brought out a speaker onto the court and he's shooting right now. So <laughs> shout out Lou. <laughs> oh my God. Is Lou. he just taking strictly mid range shots? Yep, that's literally what he's doing. <laughs> it's, it's crazy because he was. It's like, I feel like you see that a lot from players who like struggle. He, he did not. He went like three for four, I think, and one no, for that, one for that's three. That's how you get the name Mid Range Lou. Yeah, he, no, no, no days off. What song's playing yeah. right now? Somebody, little baby, I think. Mm. That's definitely that's a Lou song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got baby energy. Oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> Shane, you, you talk about <laughs> this game kind of turning into shootout. Um, R.I.P. the the under in this game, which I know you, oh. you were. You're going for no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, just in terms it, it was of always, the, it was always the over. It was always the over. It was my bad. My bad. It was always the over. In terms of what you saw from ASU shooting in the first half compared to the second half, right? Because it, it did feel like a tale of two halves for this team, which apparently that's just the story for Arizona State this season. Uh, what was the big difference from the way this team shot in the first half to their their second half scoring? Uh, they just took too many threes again, I think. I, I don't know. Uh, the slot selection wasn't terrible in the second half. I mean, they started off 8 for 11. So you, I don't know if they were as worried as, as I was as worried with for exercising these demons from the 29-point game last time Washington State came here. I don't even think it's on their mind. But I was worried as soon as the tip started and, you know, like three minutes of the game, I was like, oh, we're good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I mean, obviously, let's talk about the glaring one. Warren Washington had one field goal attempt in the second half. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's your answer right there. The, you know, I thought I was really impressed by most of the zone possessions they had tonight offensively. You know, this is something that ASU basketball in general, especially Bobby Hurley teams struggle with is against zones, whether it's what it was tonight in the two, three extended zone or, you know, one, three, one. And we'll see some different types of zones on, on Saturday or sun, Sunday, I'm sure. But it's yeah, I, I don't know if there was any other difference aside from Warren Washington, just not shooting the ball. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a big part of it. I also, DJ, again, wildly inefficient, inefficient in the second half, specifically. One for five from the field. 0 for three from three. He's got to stop taking bad shots, man. But, 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 what was the one field goal he hit? 
What was it? It was a dagger. It was yeah. a yeah. floater dagger to go by. Oh seven. yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Which was, again was a bad shot, and again took him eighteen and change to get that last bucket. Yeah, yeah, it took the team eighteen and change. I mean, the the offense was sputtering toward the end for sure, and you can just feel this time or this team sometimes that if you feel their knuckles get white when when somebody hits a big three, and then you know DJ turns the ball over, and mm-hmm. you're like, oh god, they need a bucket here. And DJ was able to give it to him. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, DJ had a couple really big shots tonight. It's just you live and die with it. There's not a lot of scoring options on this team when when you know a, a guy isn't taking over and. Sometimes he feels the need to take over, and I don't really blame him. I mean, he's one of the consistent scorers that was on the or inconsistent, I guess, but one of the guys that can score night in and night out from last year. Yeah, yeah. it's it's just nice when they put it together. Yeah, yeah. right. And I still feel like we haven't seen the best of this team. They shot fifty five percent tonight. We we talk about the Michigan game as their most complete game, right? Where they shot well from start to finish, and they played defense from start to finish. I still feel like you haven't got a game since then where you've gotten the Sun Devils shooting lights out the way that clearly they can and where they play defense dominantly the way they can. Because tonight wasn't dominant defense. Tonight was a different win than probably they've had all season because it was just a shootout. You're going yeah. back and forth at this point. Yeah. So Yeah, the defense the defense tonight was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. Like they, good enough. They just ran into, as Bobby said, they ran into a buzzsaw tonight. It's just what happens sometimes. But you know what the one thing they did do that nobody's talked about? I don't know if you guys have talked about it, but I haven't heard anybody. No one brought it up in the press conference. I didn't see any tweets about it. TJ Bamba, their leading scorer, 16 points a game, was held to four at halftime and only scored four the whole game and then fouled out. Yep. Didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Nothing. So if, I don't know if that was part of the game plan or things just worked in their favor, but that's a huge, huge W if you're ASU. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's one thing that ASU is relatively good at is neutralizing a team's best player. I mean, they obviously did mm-hmm. it against Michigan. Uh, and they, I'm not mistaken, they didn't Nem- have to do it against Creighton, right? Because... Yeah, uh, they, they did do it against play. Creighton. Nemhard, Nemhard, Nemhard yeah, right, right, the right. big man, but but Nemhard who scored twenty plus against Arizona and Tennessee, or I believe it's just Tennessee, had, was held to what like six points, like yeah, something yeah, like that. The, yeah, that, that is that's a great point, Sean. Yeah, it's it's something that their defense does, and obviously, it doesn't matter if the offense is to show up, but they showed up enough tonight. Yeah, um, and it like I like we have kind of been saying, it wasn't necessarily the prettiest win, but. At this, end, it's where they are right now. A win is a win, and this is this one feels good. Yeah, it, it gets the job done. Hey, a win always feels good. Whether we're talking basketball or whether we're talking underdog fantasy, that's where you guys can pick up a big win too, guys. It's easy to get started. Go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and sign up with promo code PHNX. And underdog is going to match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. Shane, I'm not going to say bones because I already said bones earlier in the show. Okay. Just so you're aware. Uh, but Underdog Fantasy, guys, is the place where you guys can make some easy coin, especially on their pick em. Mm-hmm. You can go higher, lower, higher anything Buffalo Bills this weekend? Yes, hammer it. Lower hammer anything it. New England Patriots this hammer weekend? Hammer it. Hammer it. The team of destiny now. Just saying. Just saying. It's the Buffalo Bills. All right, no. Buffalo, the Buffalo Bills are now America's team. Yeah, no. They've been America's team, I think, um, but they are. They have cemented themselves as America's team now. Guys, again, it is easy to get started with Underdog Fantasy. I'm going to say it one more time. Go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and sign up with promo code PHNX and Underdog. It's going to match your first deposit up to $100. And then, again, I know it's a big investing show. You can take that money, <laughs> flip it. That's what we do. Invest it. PHNX stocks. Flip it and reverse it. And then invest it in a burrito or two, or three, <laughs> or, or four, or, four. or five. Um, <laughs> burrito Express. I wanted one on my way here, and it yeah. was it was too late. I was so yeah. upset. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. But if you're listening to the show on your way to work or get in the there. morning, get there right now. Yeah, there's locations all over the valley, so there is no excuse not to get the Burrito Express in you. Ooh, because you Ooh. know what they say: Burrito Express, get it in you. <laughs> oh, we have to keep it clean for Coach Evan B's kid. Did I, say something I, did I say something I wasn't supposed you to? You might have. I don't know. It kind of just, at this point, it's, <laughs> it just is like, it's all, it's, it's all like, none of it sounds like curse words anymore. I, I got you, coach. I got you, coach. Uh, Sean, tell the people what happens when they get a $25 Burrito Express gift card. Um, You get a free burrito. That's literally, it's it, they, like, there's free money, and then they took it up a notch, and they just gave you a free burrito, which is better. It's so, yeah, food, head over to your nearby Burrito Express location, and follow them on Twitter, at Burrito E X. There you go. Burrito you know how Express. juiced that would be if if I if I placed a bet on something and out of my phone instead came winnings came a burrito. Right. That's like what they should start deal. doing. Like at like shoe stores when it's like buy one get one. It's buy one get a free burrito Express burrito. 
for everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like in New York and I'm going to get like some Tim Hortons. And they're like, here's your free Burrito Express burrito. We shipped like, it bet. overnight just for you. And we knew you bet. were going to be here. Mm, bet. Bet. Uh, while we're talking about tasty things, let's get into the aftertaste. Uh, I'm going to go with an oldie, but a goodie. Mm. Okay. Okay. Shane, I'm going to start with you, buddy. Okay. What was pumped Don't in your gullet this evening? Um, mm, let's see. Holy water. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you been cleansed? Yeah, I feel like I've been cleansed 100%. I mean, Did Warren clean I was, you? I, I, stop it right now. It, sounds, I think it I seems like in, Warren cleaned you. I think I was sitting in the same exact seat as well that I was sitting in for the Washington State game last year. So I'm te- when I tell you I was terrified, oh, thank God that didn't happen. Warren Washington baptized Shane. He did baptize Shane. He also <laughs> he baptized he, Wazoo. He almost baptized Wazoo when that yeah. reverse dunk. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That would have been insane if he would have hit that. that what about you, Sean? What was pumped in your goal? Um, and honestly, to tell you, it's like the yogis that I had for dinner. It's mm-hmm. nothing special. It was just some rice and, and, and chicken, but it tasted pretty good. And when it's all said and done, it got, it got the job done. I was hungry, and I needed food, and it was food. And it was hmm. good. Um, again, nothing special. Simple, just a couple ingredients. But it's all I needed. All I needed was a dub. All I needed was some yogis. I'm all gonna go. Um, oof. I'm gonna go with an energy drink. Mm. Uh, because again, I'm trying to quit it. Just like ASU's trying to quit these six point victories and turn them into twenty point <laughs> victories. Uh, but it, it just gets you a little bit more life, a little bit yeah. more energy, right? We get a team that hasn't won in two weeks at this point, and it's just what you need it's a jolt of life it's a jolt of energy um it may give you heart palpitations <laughs> um, but the at the end thing. of the day <laughs> it gives you a little bit of energy and that's what asu needed um off the heels of a win you know what we finally get what's that another addition to the bobby Woo! board bobby board let's pull it up it's been a minute since we've gotten oh an addition to the, the coast board. is clear so we can swear again oh did coach Evan be leave or did the kid go to sleep i think he said kid coast is clear fuck fucking right coach Evan B. Oh, wait 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 <laughs> Am I an idiot? Has it always been Coast is Clear? What did no. you think it was? I thought it was Ghost is clear. clear. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did we fucking. Am I wrong here? Am I wrong here? He left. He left. <laughs> yes, you're wrong. You're so I, wrong. Bro, um, you I don't know me? what to tell you. I, maybe my hearing's just off for 25 years. 25 years? I'm honest. I always thought it was Ghost was Clear. Always. What does that mean? What does I that don't mean? know. Like, what yeah, what does coast is clear mean? The, the coast is clear. Probably, I, don't probably probably tell you, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. Let's, let's, oh, we got Petey. Uh, Petey's coming yeah, to take yeah. a seat with me, buddy. Petey, we just talked about... uh. Dave, yeah. how you doing? <laughs> I'm so good, Petey. How are you? Buddy, the like... I, I, the expression coast is clear uh, uh, origin, or may have originated from pirates and smugglers who were referring to the absence of coast guards. There you hmm. go. It wasn't That's anything to do with ghosts? So you knew it was no. Coast is Clear too? Buddy! <laughs> I'm in my 50s, buddy. What do you think? Hey, man, I don't know what to tell you. I didn't know uh, West yeah, Virginia yeah. and Virginia Dude, were both we states. states for a while. I, 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 like, I give Totri, like, t- Totri teaches kids in their That's education true. at true. ASU. That's like, true. He's a professor but at uh, video, I teach him how to film whoa, 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 shit, PD. Whoa, whoa. I teach him how to film shit. Young, young adults, not kids. But I, and I put Totri up here. I do. I do. It's just a saying. But buddy, it's just a saying. Bro, bro. like you, I think you probably did learn that at Scooby Doo. Like that's something you should know. I don't know what to tell you, man. Oh, maybe that's where I got it from. D, if I miss you, buddy. Maybe it was Scooby. Forks Sco- Scooby out here ruining Scooby. my education. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's get back to the Bobby board. Forget the coast is clear, guys. The coast is clear. Um, we got another Bobby face tonight. Yeah. This one. How do you feel about this one? Um, he's just fucking. Did Luther turn the music up? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Did <laughs> it? Anyways, um, um, I feel uh, th- that Bobby represents how I feel. Like it's a it's a slight smile, but it's all like you Not know, good just, enough. He's looking to Washington. Yeah, he's looking he's quite literally looking to Washington. You know, he's 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 okay with it, but it's you got to move on. You got to move to the next one. Um, a win's a win. Let's move to Washington. I didn't make the circle maroon though. I messed up. It's okay. Uh, it's goofy. okay. It's okay. Goof. It's okay. I'm goofy. Goofy. Shout out okay. Elijah Badger. Um, yeah. I really hope the trend for the Bobby board isn't an extra loss per. No, no. it's one two Stop one it. two. It. It's one two one two. Yeah. Okay. I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Um, that means we beat everybody except UCLA in the next line. Yeah. Okay. Which is, I mean, super realistic. 
<laughs> LTCU in the chat. Ghost to ghost. LA to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> LTC, I love you, bro. I love you so much. Um, we don't have a lyric to the game from Sean, but Shane, I'm just curious. What's the lyric of the game from whatever's playing at DFA right now? Give me one second. Let's see if we can get anything fun. Little baby still playing? Yeah, uh, hold on. I'm listening. Uh, no, no, no. A little, I need I'm a gonna little. be honest. I, I literally, I've never understood a word little baby says. In the song, so this, <laughs> is, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Maybe he said ghost is clear. Yeah, maybe he did. He probably that, should did. Be, that should be the. Get Lou, go, go down the court and grab Luther. See if he could tell us. Uh, I'll tell you what, Lou is wetting them from three right now. I, from three? Oh, from three. Yeah. Oh, he's three backing up Lou. now. Three point Lou. Yeah. Mid range Long range Lou. Long range Lou. Long range Lou, bro. Long range that goes Lou. crazy. Long range Lou. That goes crazy. I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, something this was, else. This was the same thing. This is the same thing last year, by the way. Every single time I set up here, it was always Lou. Was here afterward. <laughs> hey, he's getting in that work. That's, hey, that's why how you get to be yeah. one of the most consistent shooters on the team. Not a fact. You can just make mid-range buckets. He was like show nothing. tonight, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, that's what we were talking about is, like, he is, at this point, probably the most consistent shooter on the team. And, yeah, and we yeah. haven't even talked about this yet. Someone brought it up in the chat, but I brought it up during the game is the, the, the platoon swap. Um, and I noticed it again today. And, honestly, not a huge fan of it on, on paper. Because did I send that video in? Yeah, you did. Yeah, we, we have it, I believe. Got to it, yeah. um, but, like, and someone in the chat had asked earlier, like, where does the scoring come from when you do that platoon swap? Because... You haven't seen it from Austin in a long time now. If the Cambridge brothers are all both out, like all of your scorers are on the bench. Jemiah has not produced yet this year. We have no reason to believe that he 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 can be that guy. It's Luther. Like Luther has been the most efficient player on on off of the bench. I think him and Duke Brennan and Duke is not really there to be putting up points um, necessarily. So uh, Luther it can be a big part of that. And if if Luther can start having these kinds of performances where he's going three for four from the field, putting nine points up off, off the bench. That is, I, I will take that every time. Yeah. yeah, especially from a guy that's, you know, coming into his career at ASU from Ohio State, he was known as a def, like a one-way defender. You know, mm -hmm. he hit a three now and then, and his mid-range game was good. But, like, having, having him turn into a true two-way player is huge. Huge. I'm ready for him to go for 20 one night this season. I'm here for it. I think that would be so much fun. Um, guys, did you know Arizona State football is going to get their 20th transfer? Really? Yeah, it's Enoch. Enoch's going to transfer to the football team because he's not going to be playing oh, basketball anymore. Oh, speaking of uh, football players, the uh, the six foot eleven number twenty one. I'm blanking on his name. Um, I thought I had it up there, but I don't. Uh, he the, on Washington State that played two minutes in the first half. Yeah, oh, the big on the dude. Football team. He Wilson is a left tackle on the football team. Yep. He is. Yep. That's crazy because <laughs> we literally Damon literally said that guy should be playing left tackle. He literally said that. And That's I mean, crazy. we all agree with him. That's crazy. That is not. He looks. He looks like. I, I said he looked like a tight end that would not be good enough to play tight end. So they move him to tackle. Uh, He's yeah. that guy. Wow. Well, he's three hundred and twenty three pounds. So yeah. No, he well looked he like a. Player. He looked like a left tackle. Shout out to him for that. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, guys, before we get out of here, I want to tell you a little bit about Octane Raceway and Mavericks. We are excited to welcome. Octane Raceway and Mavericks to the PHNX family. You guys have seen all of the fun that everybody mm -hmm. has had there. Me specifically, I get my ass kicked in uh, is go karts, right? Yeah, we yeah, also I'm, lost I'm to really Leah and Bowling too. Though. What Did do we? you think would yes. be the best? I thought we tied. Arcade. No, we, we tied, lost, but we, we lost to Leah. God damn. Yeah, that's tragic. What do you that's think tragic. would be the best at arcade games on ASU? I want, I want a on ASU rematch. basketball. Yeah. Ooh, at arcade games. I feel like I feel like it would be Luther because he'd cheat. I feel like I feel like Austin's a gamer, bro. Yep. Yep. I mean, like he's. I feel like he's got it like me, where he's just he's just gonna Duke, come out Duke there and Duke might ball. be a good one. Yeah. Duke's a dog at whatever he does. I feel like Duke runs air hockey. Mm. Nah, he's too tall. That's a lot of that's a lot of stress on the back to be bending down. That's that more much. Nunez. That's more Nunez. Oh, no, that's more Frankie. Frankie. Yeah. Frankie, Frankie kills that air hockey. I, no, I bet you Bobby Junior is a crazy like yeah. like ping pong pool arcade Champion. guy. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like he runs that. I bet. Stuff. I bet he murders pop a shot too. I yeah. Bet. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Guys, go check out Mavericks and Octane Raceway yourself. They've got amazing deals and specials every single day. And go check out the, the go-karts because you could probably do better than I can. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, the bar is on the floor. Thank um, you, John. I mean, you came in last. Hey, I never, I never said that I was a race car driver. Yeah, I never, I never said, said I was a getaway driver. You said that you were. I'm just John saying. 
I was fast. I was fast. Hey, I, I never claimed. I never claimed Frank to be a fighter. Frank was the fastest, but he's also the largest because he's a big second, man. I was the second fastest. Yeah. So the, the, the larger fastest. people, you get. I was just saying the big people, the big guys were right. fast. They had a, a oh, he's mid range Lou. Brick. Oh, awful. That looked more yeah, like I could, I could hear DJ how Horn. That was. <laughs> hey, can we can we stop with the DJ? I'm just saying he wasn't good today. He deserves that today. Um, oh, and he also airballed one at one point, I believe. Anyways. Um, yeah. Check that out. Um, and then scoot on over to Dobson Ranch and join scoot us. Scoot on over? You know, go-kart on over. Steal a go Don't steal a go-kart. Don't steal, don't steal a go-kart. Don't, go don't do that. Go-kart responsibly. Absolutely not. Um, but <laughs> get out of the go-kart, get in your car, mm. and come on over to the inaugural PHNX Tea Party yes, presented by Four Peaks at Dobson Ranch Golf Course on Friday the 13th. Spooky. Um, hey, guys. Ghost is clear. The ghost... Ghost is clear, but it might not on the 13th. Um, <laughs> but there's only one way to find out, and it's by coming to the PHNX Tea Party. Yes, sir. Um, presented by Four Peaks. It'll feature a watch party as the Suns take on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yep. A whole Suns crew will be there. We'll be doing a post-game show from there. Everybody from PHNX. Everyone from PHNX. We're going to be out there in the cut, d dressing in our bad birdie. Yes, sir. Um, but you get food and drink. You get merch. There's contests. We're going to do a little shot at glory, you know, half-court contest. Um, prizes. We're going to have vendors out there giving out food, merch, all that kind of stuff. Um and if you are, if you have kids, bring them along. Ten and under, they're free, and it includes a free youth clinic. Uh, so check out the link in our description. Get out there, register. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Yes, sir. Before we get out of here, Joe brings up a good question. Would you have a better chance getting a sack or defending Jack Wilson in the paint? I'm going to go getting a sack. Uh, sack. No. i just go under no. his legs. Yeah, well, no. I feel He's like it's no easier cut. for me to get he a sack no than for you guys. The, the only thing is, is that it's... Throw? It's more likely that he just misses the shot. That's what I'm saying. So, but he assuming, would just dunk assuming on that if you like, like, let's assume that you, if you don't do anything, he's gonna make the shot every time. Like, you have to get in the way of the shot. You have to slow yeah. him down. Okay, I'm taking sack. sack. I still might. Don't you go through his legs? Nah, I'll I'm just saying. get, I'll just get physical with him. Like, not like okay, I'm gonna bro. stop. I'm not gonna slow him Whoa. down. But I'm saying Whoa. I'll just, I'll just fucking, I'll, I'll throw an elbow in there and he'll, he'll miss the free throw. Yeah, I think you're gonna whatever you mean, whatever you want it to mean. Um, I'll get physical with with Jack Wilson. Um, okay, let's that also get Jack Wilson physical. looks physical. exactly like a Jack Wilson. I think I yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you you're also eight feet tall, paint. Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Um, I the only time I've ever tried to get to the quarterback was when Shane and I were doing lineman drills in Vegas, um, mm. and I was mm. successful at that. So maybe I should choose yep, the, the I got sack. Smoked, for He's sure. A smaller, but we'll see you next time. A little, a little. You are a little smaller than Jack Wilson, though. That is true. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, Shane, anything before we let you go? Oh uh, Yeah, a couple things. Uh, I wanted to bring up the fun conversation that I had with Warren. I didn't send it to you guys, but uh, I don't know if you guys saw my tweet, but I, I tweeted that he looked like he got stuck in a 2K animation after he made that block because he blocked it and then started talking to the crowd and was like, oh, shit, we don't have the ball. So I asked him about that, and he was like, he was like man, it's, it's just, it, it, I, it shows the passion that we have, all have for the game and how locked in we always are. But yeah. Uh, and he laughed it off. But, yeah, he, he's he's just – this team is really fun. Um, yeah. And the intensity that they continue to show is great. Um, and, yeah, it's – it's. It, I think Bobby's doing a great job. And, and once again, it was mentioned in the press conference tonight that it's become kind of an ongoing joke that they don't – that Bobby never says that's a bad shot. Um, they, 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 like, almost realize it when we talk to them about it. We were – Somebody asked, like, does he ever talk about straw selection? And they're like, no, he, he actually no. doesn't. So it's, it's pretty hilarious. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Uh, Shane, we'll let you go. We know you've got the lovely drive back. You're not coming back to the office, right? You've got the lovely drive back to, to PV. PV? He's not, Bro, he's not in PV? Little? He's what? He's Scottsdale. You're far. You're PV, far as shit. PV is, is like just – never mind. Yes, I go to North Scottsdale. It's like 30 minutes. Bye, guys. Bye, Shane. Uh, Sean, any final <laughs> thoughts? Nah, man. I was just I was happy to get on the board, and also to Joe's question, if if if, if the scoring the buckets on the board, I'm I'm wetting Jack Wilson up. He can't. You're wetting Jack Wilson up. <laughs> I'm just repeating what you said. Ready to get physical? I told you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I he can't he can't keep up with me. I'm faster than him. I can almost guarantee that. Yep. Sean DePaz wetting up Jack Wilson like mm. 
as always. Like, as always. <laughs> hey, guys, we appreciate you giving us a listen. If you enjoyed the content, give us a follow at phnx underscore sun devils. You can follow me at anthony underscore toach. You can follow Shane at Shane Deef. You can follow Sean at pause at Sean underscore to pause. I mean, I, I guess I'm wetting up Jack Wilson as always. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, uh, We will see you guys tomorrow live at 3.30 with ASU go. offensive lineman Ben Coleman. Sean will not be, be with us. Um, He's departing. He's not passing away. He's not passing away. Uh, he's just going on vacation. Yeah. So he'll be back so next week. So Ben Coleman, Syracuse, New York. Ben Coleman is replacing him. Yes. For tomorrow's show. Uh, no, show got a little less cute, but not much less cute. I'm gonna tell Ben you said that. You can tell him that. Okay. He'll probably That's think fair. I'm cute too. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. For now, peace.